Escribe la cámara. Ahí. 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 In doing so, you are accepting responsibility of training them in the practice of the faith. It be your duty to bring them up to give God's commandments as Christ taught us. By loving God and our neighbor, do you clearly understand what you are undertaking? Yes. And God parents, are you ready to help these parents in their duty as Christian mothers and fathers? Yes, we are. Mary children, the Christian community welcomes you with great joy. In his name I implore you for Christ, a Savior, by the sign of his cross, and I will praise the cross. On your foreheads invite your parents and godparents to the same. So I'm going to do now, I'm going to do the sign of the cross, and every group does it to the same. You know, they want the parents and parents the same. Saint Paul, pray for us. 
Say Mary Magdalene. Mary Cross. All holy men and women. Mary Cross. Okay, what happens now? We have the bar which is called the day of exorcism. Basically, a baptism is an exorcism, so it not only takes it from sin, but takes it from all the evil spirits that may have, you know, taken part in your life or something. But um, actually, it is very true, but it's, this is what we have baptism. Almighty living God, you send your Holy Son into the world to cast out the power of Satan, spirit of evil, to rescue man from the kingdom of darkness. And bring him into the splendor of your kingdom of light. You take all his children, set them free from original sin, make them templates of your glory, and send your Holy Spirit to dwell with them. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Sisters, we ask God to give these children a new life in abundance, the water and the Holy Spirit. Father, you give us grace for the sacramental signs, which tell us of the wonders of your unseen power. In baptism, we use your gift of water, which you have made a rich symbol of the grace you gave us in the sacrament. At the very dawn of creation, your spirit breathed on the waters, making the wellspring of our holiness. The waters of the great flood made a sign of the waters of baptism and make an end of sin, a new beginning of goodness. To the waters of the Red Sea, you led Israel out of slavery to 
be an image of God's holy people to feed on the sin by baptism. In the waters of the Jordan, your son was baptized by John, anointed with the Spirit. The son will that water and blood should flow from his side, is hung upon the cross. After his resurrection, he told his disciples, Go out and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. But I look now with love upon your church, and I see before her the fountain of baptism. By the power of the Spirit, if to the water of this font the grace of your Son, you create a man in your own likeness, cleanse him from sin and new birth to innocence by water and the Spirit. We ask the Father, with your Son, to send the Holy Spirit upon the water of this font, those who are buried with Christ in death, or baptized rise also with him to the newness of life. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. What happens now is, is called the renunciation of sin and profession of faith. So basically, for those who are not Catholic, if you believe in the same thing we do believe, it means you are already Catholic, but you don't know it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's because we're Christians. The parents and grandparents you have come here to present their children for baptism by water and the Holy Spirit they are to receive the gift of new life from God who is love. On your part, you must make it your constant prayer to bring them up in the practice of the faith. See that the divine life which God gives them is kept safe from the poison of sin to grow always stronger in the heart. Your faith makes you ready to accept the responsibility to renew the doubt of your baptism. Reject sin, profess your faith in Christ Jesus. It is the faith of the church, it is the faith which this children about to be baptized. To reject Satan. You reject Satan. And all his works. And all his empty promises. You reject sin so as to live in the freedom of God's children. You reject the glamour of evil and refuse to be mastered by sin. Now, do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? Do you believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, was crucified, died, and was buried, rose from the dead, and is now seated at the right hand of the Father? I do believe. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting? This is our faith, this is the faith of the cross. We are proud to profess it in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Okay, that's the major part now. What is going to do, we do by this side, just one.